Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are looking at one of the most powerful iOS customization tools available for non-jailbroken devices. The new Misaka 26 update now supports iOS 26 and it brings many new features, better stability, and broader device compatibility. With Misaka 26, you can enable Apple intelligence on unsupported iPhone, dynamic island on older devices, enable always on display, and many more for iPhone or iPad running iOS 18 up to iOS 26. In this video, I will guide you step by step through the entire process. All right, let's dive into it. In order to enable all features of Misaka 26, you first need to save your mobile Gestalt file. This file contains important device information that Misaka uses to unlock extra options. First, download the shortcut using the link in the description, then run the shortcut on your iPhone or iPad, and follow the instructions that appear on the screen. After that, tap the button that says, click here. You will see a file called blob with a circular icon. Tap on it, and then choose in string. Now you will see a long list of plist code. Select and copy all of the code from the very beginning all the way to the end. When you are done, tap the share button, then choose copy to copy the entire code. Next, go back and tap, okay? At this point, the Files app will open and ask you where to save your mobile Gestalt file. Choose a folder or location where you want to save it and confirm the save. After the file has been saved, open the Files app again on your device. Find the mobile Gestalt file that you just created. And then send this file to your computer. You can transfer it using email, Discord, WhatsApp, AirDrop, or any other file transfer method that you prefer. Now that you have your mobile Gestalt file ready, the next step is to download Misaka 26 from the official GitHub page. When you open the GitHub download page, you will see that Misaka 26 supports iOS and iPad OS 16, all the way up to iOS 26.1, including iOS 26.2 Beta 1. On the page, you will also see a list of supported features that Misaka can unlock, even if your device does not officially support them. This includes Apple Intelligence, Dynamic Island, Always on Display, and other system functions. At the moment, Misaka 26 is available for Mac OS users. The developer has confirmed that a Windows version is coming soon. Do not worry, the setup process for Mac OS and Windows is almost the same. So in this tutorial, I will use the Mac OS version to show you how powerful Misaka 26 really is and how you can unlock new features on your device using your mobile Gestalt file. Now, open Misaka 26 on your computer. The setup process on Mac OS and Windows is almost the same, so the steps in this video will apply to both versions. Once Misaka 26 is open, select the mobile Gestalt Plist file that you created earlier and transferred to your computer. After loading the file, Misaka 26 will automatically detect your device and read all of your device information. From here, you can choose which features you want to enable. In my case, I am using an iPhone 14 Pro running iOS 26.2 Beta 1. So I will enable Action Button feature, Apple Intelligence and Troll Pad Multitasking. Before applying these features, make sure to connect your iPhone or iPad to your computer using a USB cable and turn off Find My iPhone in Settings. Don't worry, you can turn Find My iPhone back on after all features are applied. Once everything is ready, click Apply. Your device will restart and display a short setup screen. This is completely normal and completely safe. I have tested this on four different devices, and all of them worked perfectly without any issues. If the features or tweaks do not apply the first time, don't worry. Simply try to apply the features again, and if needed, repeat the process two times. In most cases, applying the configuration twice will allow Misaka 26 to successfully enable all the features you selected. As you can see, Misaka 26 has successfully applied all the features on my device. I now have Trollpad Multitasking, which brings the full iPad OS style multitasking interface to my iPhone. My device layout looks and behaves just like an iPad, including multiple windows and split screen style controls. 
I also enabled the action button feature even though my iPhone model does not include it by default. And one of the most impressive results is Apple intelligence. As many of you know, the iPhone 14 Pro does not officially support Apple intelligence. But with Misaka 26, I now have the Apple intelligence interface and features available on my device. This shows how powerful Misaka 26 can be, especially when combined with the mobile legistalt configuration. Don't worry, there are many more features you can enable, and I will cover them in future videos, including how to enable Dynamic Island on older iPhones. Alright, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.